Hello and welcome back to the channel. Salesforce's Flow is an automation tool that requires little to no coding, enabling administrators to set up a wide range of powerful actions that previously would have necessitated a developer to write Apex. Today's video will cover various automation tasks that can be accomplished using Flow, such as modifying a field, triggering an email alert, and generating a new record. The specific use case we will be working with is when an opportunity advances to stage three. Our goal is to have an email alert triggered, a field on the opportunity to be populated with the data entered the stage, and a related record to be generated automatically. We'll get started by adding a new field on the opportunity, creating a new workflow alert, and reviewing the object we need created. From the setup menu, I went to Object Manager in the Opportunity, Fields and Relationship, and I'm going to create a new field that will store the date that the opportunity moved to stage three. So I'll create a date field, click next, stage three date, click next, click next here to apply to the profiles, and then save to add to the layout. This is the email template that we will use in our email alert. It's called stage three date alert, and it has just a few more simple merge fields about the opportunity. To create the email alert, I'll type in email in the search bar, scroll down to select email alerts, click continue, new email alert. I'll name this stage three date alert. Select the opportunity object, and then select our stage three date email template. Type in stage, select the date. So to add users to our workflow alert, I'm going to select this drop down, click owner, add the opportunity owner, click related user, and add my sales engineer. Scroll down and click save. So if we scroll down on our opportunity down the related list, we can find the POC object, and this is going to be the record that we need to automatically create. If I take a look at it by clicking new, I can see that my POC stage is defaulted. My POC type is a pick list between paid or unpaid, so we're not going to populate this. Technical blockers would be um, added by the sales engineer as well as the description. So we might want to look at populating the owner based off of the sales engineer field on the opportunity, as well as making sure that the related opportunity field is populated here. From our setup menu, type in flow, select flows, and then click new flow. So now we're presented with a screen where we have to select our flow type. The three types that admins are most likely going to use are a screen flow, which uh, guides a user through a process collecting information along the way, a scheduled flow, which is essentially a batch job, it'll run whenever you schedule it and perform an action, and then a record trigger flow launches anytime a record is created or updated or deleted. This is the type of flow we're going to go ahead and create today. Click the button and then click create. For our object, we're going to select Opportunity, and then we only want to run when it is updated. For our condition requirements, we're going to do an AND, and we're going to make sure that it only runs when our stage name is changed to stage 3. So value equals stage 3, and then stage name is changed equals true. So then the flow will only run on a stage name change and when that equals 3. For our optimize the flow, we want to select actions and related records because we are performing an email. Um, fast fields and updates are best if you're only updating the single record. Click done. So the first thing we need to do is create a variable um, to capture the date that we will input into our stage three date. Um, to do this, we're going to go toggle the toolbox and create a new resource. The resource type is going to be a formula. The API name will just say today. The data type will be date, and the formula is pretty simple. It's just today, open, close, check syntax, and then click done. So let's go ahead and make that action to update that date. We'll do update triggering record as a shortcut. Label it update stage three date. Leave this as is. Search the field as just that stage three date. And then we're going to use that formula of today. Pretty simple. Click done. The next action we'll create here is the workflow email. We'll click add element, select send email update. We'll find our stage three date alert, add a label. So stage three alert, and then select our record ID. We'll scroll down here, select record, and then just type in ID, click that, click done. 
So now that our first two elements are done, let's go ahead and save our work. We'll click save, label it opportunity, phase, stage three alert, and then click save. So for our last action in this flow, we're gonna go ahead and create that POC record um, by clicking add element, scrolling down to create records, name it create POC. Um, we only wanna create one record, but we want to use a separate resource in literal values to create a POC by searching for POC under the object. Search field, we want the owner ID to be our sales engineer. So we'll select the field we want, scroll down to record, find the sales engineer field, and we'll type in user ID to find the ID to select. We'll add the field here and make sure our related opportunity is the opportunity it was created from. Record, just type ID, scroll down until we find the opportunity ID, and then click done. Let's go to the top right, click save, and then activate, and we'll go ahead and test this flow. We can test a flow by going to the top right where it says view test and creating a flow test case. Click create, give it a label, Set initial triggering record, we'll use this opportunity here and check that it's in stage one. On the update, we're going to change this to stage three. And then next we'll set some assertions. We want to make sure that a few things are happening. We want to make sure that the record stage three date was set equals true. We can add another assertion here making sure that this email alert was visited equals true, and then we'll click save. Now to run our test, we'll go back to view tests, click this button here, and run test and view details. So it looks like both passed and everything ran as expected. Another way to test the flow is go to a record in Salesforce itself. So here's our opportunity. We can see that it's in stage one, the stage three date is null, and the POCs are blank. If we go back to our stage, change this to three, click save, we can see that our stage three date was set to today, as well as now we have a POC object. If I check my email, I see that we also got an email alert with our template that we used and based off some standard information that we added as merge fields. So in conclusion, Flows are an extremely powerful tool for a Salesforce admin. Today we sent an email alert, created a new record, as well as updating a field. Flows can also be configured with a decision tree that can vary actions created from that. For example, we could add a decision here based on deal amount that would or would not send this email out. If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel. Thank you.